Hey, what's up, you guys? Brandon Sarsfax here, and today we're going to be doing a review on the SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah or King Ghidorah figure. So, I quickly want to say that the reason why I'm doing this review, because I know this figure is very old, but the reason why I'm doing this review now is because the, the Mecha King Ghidorah is coming out in a few weeks to the month, and I thought that I would do this video first before I get into doing the review for the Mecha King Ghidorah so you could have something to compare it to. So you could see the original figure before you see the souped up mecha version. So without further ado, let's take a look at the accessories. Because I do not have the box, unfortunately. I bought this second hand, which means that the box was already lost. And this was shipped to me by a individual, not a store. So the box is gone. So let's go on to the accessories. So for accessories, King Adora comes with one flight stand with three different Tamashii Nation Act 4 stands with extension pieces which basically looks like this. So each one is supposed to come with a clip that is supposed to hold these bad boys into place. I do not have the actual clips because the seller did not have them at the time of selling it to me. It still has yet to find them but honestly I don't care. I'm not a big fan of the clips anyway so I really don't give a damn. So here we have the lightning that King Ghidorah comes with. Very cool. This is just one of three. And I will show the other ones in just a second. They are all individually sculpted. And they do also fit in King Ghidorah's mouth. Right here. This is one end. Where the where this will be touching the ground or whatever. And this will be coming out of his mouth. Now I'll show off the next one. Again. Individually sculpted. Very nice. Looks very cool. And it reflects light very well too giving it a very cool lightning effect. And the last one looks like this. Very, very cool. And also just to show it off, these are what the stands look like. Here's the top. So it's very simple. You just, to attach it, you just twist and pop on like so. Pop on very easily. And then with the clip, you're supposed to just rest them on there. What I do is I find these kind of tighter pieces of the lightning and I just kind of do that and balance it on there and then balancing this against the mouth would get it at a cool angle so I'm going to take a few minutes to frustrate myself and put this all together for you guys to see how it looks with the lightning and all that so here we have it here is King Ghidorah with his energy effect all put together the way I do it is not the conventional way of doing it I do not suggest doing it this way but I do find it that it's very easy for me to do it, seeing how I have patience. Some people just don't have the patience to get this thing set up the way they want it to. So it ends up looking either tacky or looks a little like un not placed properly. This is actually not on properly. But yeah, but I think having the sticks instead of the little hooks that are supposed to hold this thing up works better. I like how this, I like how it looks. I just, I just think it holds them up better. And especially if you balance them at the perfect point. It is kind of distracting. It does take away from like your overall display to have these these effects just on a stand because it does take up a lot of shelf space. And I'll back up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You see, in a shelf, this would take up a lot and a lot of good good space that could go to something else. So quickly, I wanted to go over the details that are on King Ghidorah. And I first wanted to start with the head sculpt. And this head sculpt is amazing. Even though it's one head sculpt per all three heads, it still looks fantastic. Each one does have its own, I don't want to say unique flair to it, but they all have like individual like um, eye paints. So the eyes are not exactly the same on all of them. They, they, they come off very different to me. They're not all the same, especially since from wear and tear. Of being such an old figure they do get scratches and scuffs and little dings and dents and miss and paint missing here and there which kind of gives it some sense of character picking the head up you could see the bottom of the jaw all the same on all of them it's all the same sculpt very cool I really do like how the head sculpt came out very true to the movie um, in which this figure is from which is Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah from the High Side Trilogy. I mean the High Side movies. Why did I say Trilogy? I was thinking about Gamera. That's why. So High Side movies. So here we have the body of King Ghidorah. And you can see all the gold sculpted plating that's going on here. Very, very cool. Very, very nicely done. And I don't know if my camera's picking it up well enough. But there is some dark shading in between. Here, running to the sides. 
and going into the thighs and a little bit on the shin very nicely done and also on the feet there is a little shading in between the toes very very cool very nicely done a subtle thing that could have been looked over and they, they couldn't they didn't have to put it in but they did and it's the beautiful touches like that that makes the SH Moss Arts line such a great line so here we have the highly controversial wings of King Ghidorah beautifully done have this amazing texture of veins going through and you can see it all through here and folds and wrinkles which a real wing would look like the, you know these folds and crevices from being opened and closed and you can see all the individual sculpting lines very nicely done but I do want to say when handling the wings to the King Ghidorah be careful these things are very fragile and they are known for breaking I've had many friends who are in the kaiju collecting community who have expressed the, the disappointment of buying this figure paying all this money to have it break so I suggest get them in a pose that you want and leave them the hell alone because there's no reason for, for you to mess around with them they're very large they take up a lot of space so my advice open them up never touch them again and also I want to quickly show you for detailing the back of the of the King Ghidorah himself we have the two tails which is very unique in the SH Monsters line, not too many characters have this size of a tail that's not Godzilla. And also having two of them. There's no other figure in the line that has two tails. So, very cool. And also, the cool paint shading is on the back as well. Running all the way down to about here. Very cool. And some of that paint shading is also found on the tails. Very nicely done. I almost forgot to talk about this. It's his uh, the head of his tail. It looks like a mace and it looks like this, this dangerous weapon that can be used to pummel an opponent, which is very cool. Very nicely detailed. Very nicely sculpted. I heard a lot of people complaining that the tail does pop off. Mine has not had a problem, but I will knock on wood and hope that it is just mine. And also here's the other one. It is exactly the same sculpt and an amazing sculpt at that so so for articulation king Ghidorah has a plethora of great articulation first he's articulated from this point all the way up to the top of his head which allows him to get some great range of motion all throughout his head so if you have a pose in mind that you want to get this headed you can do it so you can have him even looking down at his feet or all the way up to the to the skies if you want him in a cool flying pose very very unique three heads all articulated the exact same way very very cool and it's very fluid too then at the abdomen can rotate him ever so slightly that's about it you hear two clicks and that's all you're gonna get at the thighs he does rotate like that in and out in and out that's about it that's all you're gonna get out of him this is a very early SH Monster Arts figure, so don't expect too much articulation coming out of him. He has fairly decent double-jointed double knees. He can rotate at the shin, also rotate at the foot. He can pivot as well. Moving to the wings, he can move. I said I was going to do it, but I got to show you guys. Oh, wait, what am I doing? He can rotate up, down, and then back and forth I'm not gonna do it too much as I said before I am very scared about this figure breaking on me so I'm not gonna touch it too much then he has a bunch of joints in the tail both tails and they can be used to move all around in many different positions and shapes so if you want to just laying on the floor or you want it up in an attack if you want to move it this way to get it into a flight position you can do so very great very large so now let's get King Ghidorah into some size comparisons So for my final thoughts, King Ghidorah is an amazing figure, but at a price point of almost $500, I don't think it's worth it. To me, 
you're better off saving your hundred dollars and buying the Mecha King Ghidorah that is coming out in a few few months for you, you for the guys who pick up US releases. But this guy is really not worth it. For the price that that I paid, which was the original price of a hundred and something, thirty, twenty dollars, I can consider it, but having the problems that the that this figure does have, the figure is very worrisome to have. You're constantly worrying about it, always checking the wings, making sure nothing's cracking, nothing's breaking. To me, it's more of a headache to have than not to. I do love the figure, don't get me wrong. This is an absolutely amazing, amazing figure. I just can't get over the situation with the wings, the situation with the loose, very loose jaws that I forgot to mention earlier. They're very, very loose. They do rock around in the in the head very very unsafely i don't like how that is the leg articulation is not very great so at the end of the day you're you're walking around with this very expensive statue you can get them in fairly decent poses but that's about it but it is an amazing piece to have it's kind of contradictory but it makes sense so with that being said i'm gonna go Make sure to go check out Never Falter Films. The link to their YouTube page will be down below. And all of their information as well will be on their YouTube page that you can go check out. Make sure to join us on the ACBA Facebook and group page. We're awesome. Just <laughs> ACBA is awesome. Just go check it out if you haven't already. And um, Photo Combat is coming up soon. I think it's not the, the Saturday this is being released. But it's the following, ooh, it's the following Sunday. Sorry about that. It's the following Sunday. So that's going to be awesome as well. So make sure you check that out. I'm participating in it. I am being sponsored, which is also awesome. So a big shout out to the ACBA Photo Combat contest that is going on. So you'll see a video of my display when it goes up. But first, I have to get it through the judges and all that. So with that being said, I'm going to go enjoy the end slate. Enjoy the awesome photos. And I'll check you nerds out next time. Peace out.